Hello, everybody. I am not, Your Honor. I I don't know, Your Honor. I, I was, um, I believe that the victim had been notified. I don't know if you've heard from her, James. She has been notified. She's notified us. She will not be on. Oh, okay. But she's she's told us what she wants. Okay, I got you. Let me call the case then. Um, this is State of Kansas versus Mike Young, 24 CR 154. Announce appearances, please. Uh, may it please the court, the State of Kansas appears through Assistant Ellis County Attorney James Rutherford. May it please the court, the defendant Michael Young appears in person and through counsel Carol Park. All right. We are on today on the motion to uh, lift the no contact order between the defendant, Mr. Young, and his wife, the alleged victim in this case. Uh, Mr. Rutherford, you indicated you had contact with the victim. Her position? Her position is she would like it lifted, Your Honor. Um, she's been pretty adamant about it. Um, and the state has no objection given the seriousness of this or lack of seriousness of this allegation. However, the state would note or let the court know that this is the fourth arrest um, for domestic battery in four years for Mr. Young. Um, so that is a concern to us. But given the victim's wishes and the defendant and his age and um, the state would be fine with it. Um, Ms. Park. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I, I uh, would just reiterate, I think, the sentiments that Mr. Young put in his, his motion that he filed pro se. He has um, some health issues. He and his wife have been married for, I think, I think he said 18 years. Um, they've been together a long time. He has no other place to go. Um, we're, we're going to be working on getting him out of jail and he would have no other uh, location to, to go to when he gets out of jail. So, um, and he also believed that the victim would, would um, be willing to have him back. And it sounds like that was the case. So um, we would just ask the court to lift the no contact order. Well, the court does have some concerns. Number one, Mr. Rutherford indicates this is the fourth incident in four years. Second, the officer in the probable cause affidavit, granted it's not uh, necessarily a, um, a, a, a testimony, but it's a sworn statement indicated the lethality assessment on the victim was very high, uh, which is consistent with uh, the four arrests in four years. While I appreciate that Mr. Young and his wife, Jane Young, may need each other and that he needs a place to reside if he gets out of jail, what are we going to do about the fact that we have repeated incidents? Um, is uh, Has the defendant ever engaged in any anger management counseling or the BIP program or anything like that in the past? Does anybody know? I'm not, I'm not aware of it looks like these the last few cases went uncharged um because my reading of them they were fairly minor incidents i think it's just accumulated over a certain amount of time that i've decided to charge it at this time can i say something your honor uh well if your attorney thinks it's a good idea before you do sometimes it's not in your best interest but miss park uh mr young you can you can inform us whether you attended counseling or batters intervention in the past Yes, I have. I'm still in counseling, marriage counseling. I'm sorry, I couldn't, understand. I couldn't understand that. I believe you I'm said you attended in, marriage counseling, Your Honor. I'm in, I'm in marriage counseling. You're in it or you've attended? Yes, I am. I'm ongoing with, with my situation as it stands on outside uh, the, the walls here at uh, Ace County Jail. Uh, I do go to uh, marriage counseling. Where do you do that at, Mr. Young? High Plains Memorial Center. Okay. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, I know this is some unique circumstances, but we need to intervene in this to stop this cycle of Mr. Young being arrested. Um, and also, but more importantly, to provide protection for his wife. Mr. Young, I'm going to lift the no contact order, but there's going to be some conditions. The conditions are that you continue in counseling at High Plains and that you sign a release there to allow High Plains to notify the county attorney's office of your attendance. Okay. We have a lot of people who say, I'm going to High Plains, and then they never go to an appointment. So you're okay. going to need to make, take, maintain all your appointments, and High Plains will have permission to notify the county attorney's office if you've missed the appointments with an unexcused absence. All right? Okay. In okay. addition, 
you are going to be required to visit with them about and be honest with them that you've been arrested now or investigated four times in four years for domestic battery to see whether they can put you in an individual program for some either anger management or what's called batter's intervention. We just okay. have to stop this cycle, Mr. Young. Do you understand? Yes, 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 I do understand that. I do. Okay, do you understand everything I said? Yes, I do. What are you required to do? I am required to uh, not get in trouble with my wife, go to high place, mental health center for counseling, stay out of trouble, and uh, go ahead and uh, uh, I'm going to get into some more uh, counseling with um, a Woodhaven program over there. They have along with CSS. Our high place has a Woodhaven program. They go to there about five days a week. Have meetings each day. Each day you go there and set yourself up as a meeting on the outside to like, you know, financial counseling. They have a uh, drug and alcohol abuse addiction counseling. They have my, my meetings uh, in uh, the community at AA, uh, my AA alcoholics anonymous and attend those two very regularly. Okay. But you missed the one thing that I told you at the start, and that's understandable, but you have to sign a release at High Plains. Yes. Because otherwise they have a confidentiality rule. So you have to sign a release so that they can communicate with the county attorney's office. Okay. Okay. Understood? Yes, That's understood. All right. Understood. All right. And um, so we'll go ahead and lift the no contact order. Do we want to take up bond at this time or are you going to set that for a separate hearing, Ms. Park? Um, we would ask for um, either a OR bond or supervised with CSO. Um, he doesn't have any funds to to post a bond, um, and I, I haven't I haven't discussed it with Mr. Rutherford at all. But um, that would be our position, Mr. Rutherford. Any um, regarding? I think the main concern when bond was set, Your Honor, was that there was no place for Mr. Young to go. And that's why his bond was set in the way it was, um, and he wasn't allowed to go to supervise bond. Um, now that he has a residence, um, I, there should be no issue with supervised bond with court services. So state would be fine with that. Okay. All right. Um, he is charged with two misdemeanors, as I understand it, correct? Mr. Correct. Mayor Bass. All right. Mr. Young, you're going to get out of jail today on a supervised bond. So what you're going to, this is separate from the no contact order. So what you're going to need to do is you, when you leave the jail, you need to report immediately to the court services office. The jailers will tell you where it's here in the courthouse. You'll walk out of the jail. You walk right over through security and go right into, and it's right there on the bottom floor of the courthouse. Okay. You need to tell them you're on supervised bond. They have some forms for you to fill out and sign, rules that you have to okay. obey. Some of the rules are you're not allowed to possess or consume any alcohol or illegal drug. You're going to have a curfew. And you need to let them know that you're required to do all of this counseling at High Plains. Okay. And when you sign that release, High Plains can then communicate with the county attorney and with court services, because if you start skipping appointments, then somebody's going to come knock on your door. And if you don't start going, they're going to put you back in orange in jail. Do you understand? I understand. I understand. Thank you. All right. So when you get out of jail this morning and jailer's there behind you, so I'm sure that the jailer can hear everything I'm saying. They're going to let you they're going to let you check out today where's the first place you go to the uh, court services uh perfect courthouse you bet okay and mr rutherford can you call court services when we're done because i got a nine o'clock starting right after this and let them know i put uh, mr young on supervised bond yes your honor okay anything else for today nothing thank you honor. thank you all right Mr. Young, good luck. I hope I don't have to talk to you anymore, okay? All right, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Very good. And with that, we'll be adjourned, counsel. Yeah, I really, really hope that he follows through with the counseling. Um, that is too old to be getting in brawls. <laughs> Come on.